Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing Thailand Packing Clothing Edition. If you are looking for a broader overview of what you should pack for Thailand, Curtis and I did a video about what we're bringing to Thailand, and we can link that video here, there, there. So I've broken this down into five categories. We're talking weather, temples and culture, occasions, my style tips, and shopping in Thailand. Obviously, you're gonna do your research and you're gonna figure out what the weather is like in the different regions of Thailand you plan on traveling to at the time of year you're traveling. Now, whatever clothes are going to be the warmest for your travels, those are the ones you're gonna wear on the plane. This is a typical airplane outfit for me. I got my long leggings on, baggy hoodie, layer that with another long sleeve or t-shirt, and this is gonna serve me well for any time I face colder weather. But it's Thailand, of course, so you also gotta worry about beating the heat. There seems to be two different approaches. Either people strip down to shorts and tank tops and wear the least amount of clothing possible, or they take a more Chelsea approach and do what they can to cover themselves up and to protect themselves from the sun. Now, a great shirt to help you beat the heat is this sunscreen shirt. This is good to SPF 50. It's lightweight, super breathable. I was wearing it in the water all the time because it dries really quickly. Great, great, great thing to beat the heat in Thailand. So most of the time when you're walking around, you're gonna be in something like this. This is a romper. It's got loose bottoms, nice and airy, tank top. Great for walking around the streets, no problem. But if you're gonna visit a temple, you're gonna need to cover up your shoulders and make sure your knees are covered as well. That's why my tip are great little kimonos like this one. These kimonos are so versatile and great when you're in hot climates. It's another layer, once again, to protect your skin from the sun. Um, but if I was wearing shorts and not long pants, I could easily wrap this around me and I would be able to cover up my knees as well as my shoulders, which are the requirements for you to enter a temple. The next point is occasions. Obviously bearing in mind what you're gonna be doing for activities while you're in Thailand, all of the highlights you wanna hit, keeping those things in mind while you're packing. Something like athletic wear, be great because it can take you from walking down the streets of Bangkok to kayaking to playing with elephants to all of the amazing things that you're gonna do in Thailand. Athletic apparel is typically really breathable and dries fast so that's another perk but something you should keep in mind and something that Curtis and I particularly love about Thailand is that VIP experiences come super cheap. So things like five-star rooftop bars and dinners on amazing patios are at your fingertips. The only thing to bear in mind is that there's a dress code for lots of these places. Kurt was required to have collared shirt, long pants, and flip-flops and beach clothes aren't gonna cut it for girls. Number four is style tips. Now, it's actually really embarrassing to talk about because I'm now gonna have to admit that I think about how outfits are going to look in Instagram photos and how I can make one day look like five days with a variety of outfits without changing a lot of pieces. We talked about it before that we are going carry on only to Thailand. So the main goal is having the most amount of outfits with the least amount of pieces. My first style tip is solid colors. Patterns and florals and polka dots are great and there's definitely a place for them. But when you have to think about what your backdrop's gonna be and if you've got multiple backdrops, sticking to solid colors is gonna help you not clash with what's behind you. Everybody loves taking holiday pictures. We do it for the gram all the time, so stick to solid colors. Going along with this, keeping a fairly monochromatic color scheme to what you're packing means that each piece is gonna match with the next piece. You don't ever have to worry about this tank top not matching with this pair of shorts or anything like that. Every piece is going to match perfectly. My third and final style tip is layering pieces. This is another perfect example of this, throwing a kimono over another outfit, and 
I'm like the queen of kimono, kimonos. I'm like the queen of kimono cover-ups like this. I have a dozen of them, so I can make two pieces of clothing go a very long way and look like multiple outfits. My last clothing packing tip for Thailand has to do with shopping. Shopping in Thailand is so much fun, but you definitely have to be prepared for it. I found it super overwhelming in some of the malls with all of the selection and how busy they were, but even more so, if you're not Thai sized, you're gonna have a problem. I'm five foot eight, I have size nine or 10 feet. When we realized that one of the bars we wanted to go to had a dress code and I wasn't allowed to wear flip flops, we took to the malls to try and find me a pair of shoes and the closest pair I could find to fitting, my toes still hung over like this much over the shoes. I didn't have a hard time finding clothes per se, but Thai people are really small and if you're not small Thai size, shopping in Thailand can be a little bit more of a struggle. To wrap it up, I have about 10 pieces of clothing that I'm taking with me to Thailand and that should definitely last me the two weeks worth of outfits, no problem. I'd also like to note some of the things that I didn't mention in this video, things like accessories. Leave them at home. It's great to look nice when you're on vacation, but when you're in a location like this, I would leave most of your jewelry, accessories, any extra stuff behind with you. And like I said, shopping in Thailand is great, so you can always pick up things like that while you're there. Okay ladies, thank you so much for watching. If you have any great packing tips, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. We post new videos weekly, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified when the next video is out. We'll see you in the next one. Okay, so when I leave and you come replace me, you have to make sure that you hold your hands, you clap and you hold your hands close to your body. Yeah, close to your body and then no, no, a little bit more up. Yeah, yeah, you've got it, perfect. Okay, are you ready for the switch? Yep, I'm ready. Do you think that's gonna work?